Welcome, welcome to the best five minute wine podcast. I'm your host, Forrest Kelly. From the seed to the glass, wine has a past. Our aim at the best five minute wine podcast is to look for adventure at wineries around the globe. After all, great minds think alike. Let's start the adventure. Our featured winery is. We continue our conversation with Frederick Boucher, Ports of New York owner operator. And then what happened is that my wife and I moved in the Finger Lakes region in 94 because she uh, got a position at Cornell University and it was the wine region. So that was kind of ironic. After all these years that I was away from it, I fell back into it. And so I bought a lot of pieces, a lot of antiques and stuff from France here. And that's one thing that we offer that's completely unusual is that our tasting room has a, a little museum of uh, French wine equipment. So in between that, uh, that time, you obviously knew your family's history and, and the leanings and the influence that they had had. Had you had kind of a secret interest in, in dipping back into that? Or when you went to school and your I, studies? You, I, I didn't. I, I, you know, it was a very patriarchal world, um, not, not a pleasant place to hang out. <laughs> <laughs> So it was much more about work. And so I grew up in that, and I just wanted to get away. And when I went to study in Paris, I was uh, super happy to not be part of that. Although, as we were traveling, my wife and I, for the, the following 15 years or so, we, uh, I kept on making our own wine, wherever it was, from various uh, grapes and, or even various fruits. And so I never really left that. And coming in the Finger Lakes, I got in touch with uh, other winery owners, and and clearly, then I was interested to get back into it. I understood the value of it, which I had not understood when I was much younger. You're having your background in things. Can you bring something a little different to, to winemaking table? Yes. Here, we decided, like, when I say we, it's mostly my wife and I, decided to make wines that were different from what is made in the region because there are a lot of other wineries that make uh, all the classic Rieslings and all that. So we make only French style wine, which means they are blended. And we make a Loire Valley Sancerre style, which is Sauvignon Blanc and Pinot Gris for the white table wine. And for the red table wine, we make a Bordeaux style, which is a classic Meritage, uh, Cabernet Franc, Cabernet Sauvignon, and Merlot. And these are our table wines. What we call our table wines actually is slightly different, since we are talking about different origins, slightly different than the notion, the American notion of a table wine, meaning a cheap wine. Uh, in France, the table wine is not necessarily a cheap wine. It's a, it's a wine that you can rely on every day. And it's a wine that is generally very versatile. You can pair it with a number of food or drink it by itself. And also not very high in alcohol, uh, only 12% currently. We wouldn't go higher than that. And when I grew up, our table wines were between 9 and 11% alcohol. So that's what we decided to focus on. But also, so these are for our uh, base wines. But also we make two uh, high-end wines, which are uh, uh, fortified wines or port method wines, port vinification method wines. And uh, these are aged uh, a lot through currently. Uh, the oldest one is, is in a Solera system that is 14 years old. And for the youngest brand that we add is four years old. So I don't know how familiar you are with the Solera system, but it's a blend from, from vintage to vintage. That concludes part two of our interview with Frederick Boucher of Ports of New York. In our final episode, we'll find out what he likes least and what he likes most about the winemaking industry. Thank you for listening. I'm Forrest Kelly. This episode of the Best 5-Minute Wine Podcast was produced by iHism. If you like the show, please tell your friends and pets and subscribe. Until next time, pour the wine and ponder your next adventure.